here it is the news about the coronavirus that's right the news about the coronavirus Here it is, the news about the coronavirus, that's right, the news about the coronavirus. Here it is, the news about the coronavirus, that's right, the news about the coronavirus. Once we get those temperatures up around 90 degrees, we're not going to have much wiggle room here. We're going to see a little bit of a dip here Thursday, Friday, but still upper 80s. And then we see another nudge upward in those temperatures as we move into the weekend. And that's even with some of those late day chances for showers and thunderstorms. I've got even warmer temperatures coming up Sunday and even into early next week. So with that surge in humidity, again, there is the possibility of some stronger or even severe thunderstorms. So already all of Northeast Ohio under a marginal risk for severe weather, meaning we're not expecting an outbreak of severe storms, but it is likely one or two are going to really gather some strength and we could be looking primarily at some strong gusty winds in the forecast. More details in your seven day coming up in less than 10 minutes. Now let's get a check of your storefront Doppler radar. to the coronavirus pandemic, how states are handling the uptick in cases across the United States. Voting is more than just casting the ballot. That is the most powerful tool you have. If you're a structure news one, we want to empower you with an understanding of community issues that affect all of us. Decision 2020 on structure news one.
or by video phone at 1-833-682-7630. Or visit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention at cdc.gov. Persons with disabilities can find accessibility options for Spectrum products at spectrum.net slash page slash accessibility. Every morning, that same curiosity is what drives me on the journey. Sure. News one, I'm Sophia Constantine. It really fuels the type of stories that we do. It defines us as Ohioans, and it's why I'm so excited to call this place home. Police officers will now have to prove that they tried de-escalating a situation. It's part of Mayor Jacob Fry's new policing policy.